Hi, welcome back to the Low Carb Keto Cookbook Review. First I wanted to remind everyone that this is mostly a list for diabetics, but I know a lot of these cookbooks are also for weight loss, so they might have ingredients which are in there which diabetics should not be using if they want to lower their A1C and their blood sugar readings. <clears throat> if you go to the link at the bottom, you will find this list and you can print it out, keep it on your refrigerator, keep it handy and use it for your shopping list. It's pretty long. It's I got back to back so it's actually about six pages. So you have a, a good variety of foods to pick from. Alright, so today I thought I'd go through this one. I haven't checked it out yet, but 200 low carb recipes. Alright, here's table of contents. Okay. You probably all have heard of the zoodles already, the uh, zucchini, zucchini noodles that we use instead of the regular noodles. Well, everything looks pretty good on here. And then she's got a crock pot. Okay. Just go back one. Okay. That's a crock pot. Oh, lots of recipes. So let's see what these um, pumpkin pancakes look like. All right, ingredients look fine. And she's got the carbs, five grams. I always love it when they show the carbs because it's a hassle to try to figure them out. There are some uh, websites that do that for you. Um, MyFitnessPal is what a lot of our members use. Also, uh, I think it was Living Well. They call it a calculator nutritional calculator. Now let's just keep going ahead here I guess. Zucchini with bacon wraps. Now the only thing that I would scratch out is the black bean flour. Um, we don't use any kind of beans except the green beans and the yellow wax beans. Although a lot of people argue with us because they say that, you know, like kidney beans have fiber. But um, you can find fiber in non-starchy vegetables too. So uh, beans do have a lot of carbs. So I would probably use coconut flour instead of this black bean flour, which is on the list. Okay. <clears throat> Salmon, that's pretty easy. Omelets, omelets, that's pretty regular. You know that that's a low carb eggs, cabbage. Never had cabbage in an omelet, but could try it once. All right, let's check the carbs on this. Four, it's not bad. Salad, eggs, bacon, sausages, cucumbers. Now the mayonnaise we recommend, it's on the list, <clears throat> is either ha uh, homemade or Primal Kitchen. Um, you find that at, like at the Whole Food store. It has the um, compliant ingredients. It doesn't have any extra ingredients. Okay, snap peas, that's not on our list either. Peas are higher in carbs, a starchy vegetable. Uh, I think pine nuts are okay. 
if you're questioning something, just always go back to the list. If it's not on this list, you shouldn't be eating it. Okay, let's see what they use. Okay, they use cheese. Oh, chestnut flour. That's not on our list either. <coughs> we go back to coconut flour or almond flour. Like I said before, this is mostly, most of these cookbooks are just for losing weight. So they have more options than diabetics do. My goal has always been to stay off meds and I still am using this way of eating. I was on metformin but I just couldn't handle it with the bathroom trips and the constant stomach aches. <clears throat> Cottage cheese. Now, if you only have a little bit of it, I'd say it's okay. Um, because I don't think it has any starches in it. But just test each of your meter. Before you eat, one hour after is the spike. And at the two hour, you should be back to where you started from. You shouldn't go over more than 20 points. All right, tacos. Everything looks pretty low in carbs. Just watch out for those ingredients that are not part of our list. Good thing about this way of eating is you'll probably lose weight too. I lost 25 pounds. Shrimp avocado. Peanuts. Um, peanuts are higher, one of the higher carb nuts. So I would probably use the sliced almonds, you know, the ones you use for baking. Ginger beef. Instead of soy sauce, we use the coconut. Aminos. You can find that at Trader Joe's. And why we don't use soy is because it's been known in women especially it contributes to higher estrogen levels and um, I have had uterine cancer and many ladies have had breast cancer. So we try to avoid the soy. Fried chicken, let's see what he uses here. Um, I don't know about the seasoning mix. Preferably you can make your own. A lot of people use the Parmesan and uh, ground up pork rinds um, for a breading solution to bread their chicken. All right, the gelatin it should be the Knox gelatin, gelatin at the clear. It doesn't have any cornstarch. The boxed sugar-free does have cornstarch. Okay. Maybe we'll go back and here it is. Let's click on that again. We can go back to the beginning. Oh, let's just go back to the front. All right, skillet recipes. Crockpot recipes. If you do the on Amazon the ebooks, it's called the Kindle. But I was able to download a cloud reader, which was also free on Amazon. <clears throat> for a long time, they let you uh, download books for free, like these I all got for free. 
But now I notice they're switching a lot of these over to you have to have the Kindle un Unlimited, which is their yearly plan. But if you get it for six months, it's free. After that, it's $10 a month. So if you want to just take it for six months, you can download whatever you want for free. I was thinking about doing that. I'm not a, a big reader otherwise, but I do like going through these cookbooks. Baked onion cookies. Let's see what that is. Oh, onion powder. Wow. I know if you set, um, set to... Or fry up some onions they release some short short of sugar I think they do sort of sugar it's more like a flatbread than a cookie all right to the cover again. I just wanted to see who wrote this book and give her credit. Right here. Maggie Fisher is the name of the author. I don't know if she has other books. You have to check on Amazon. But um, just you, I usually go by the author. We sort by author. Then you can go to the Amazon site and look under Kindle Books and look under the author and it will bring up all the keto and low carb books that author has. Like here I've got James a Abraham. He's got three of them right in a row here. But as you can see I've got quite a few books to look through. Some of these don't apply. I, you know, they're just too too many carbs. If you look to the American Diabetes Association, they're going to recommend too many carbs, so you end up on insulin. It's better just to eat right in the first place and not take any meds. Of course, if you're type 1, you do have to take insulin. That's different. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a good weekend. Bye.